booktube my name is Shannon and today I am doing the mid-year book freakout tag which I am super excited about it's almost past the middle of the year but not quite so I'm still gonna get this up sort of on time and I just wanted to share with you all the books I've read so far this year or at least my favorites and least favorites and just talk about books basically so that's what this tag is going to be and I hope you enjoy it. I also have my friend Kaylee here with me. <laughs> <laughs> She's helping me with the camera and we just did a video together, which will probably be up after this one, but I will link it below once it's up. And we did each other's makeup, so if you're wondering how we got these looks, that's how, because we did each other's makeup. <laughs> and you can see. That's <laughs> fail dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, but you didn't come here to hear about us doing each other's makeup probably to this video, so let's get on with the books. So the first question is, what is the best book that you've read in 2017 so far? And for this, I chose Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden, which is such a good book. It's phenomenal, and it was written in the 80s about this lesbian couple that is discovering that they are lesbian, and the book is, it deals with some deeper topics, but for the most part, it's very happy and shows that lesbian couples can have a happy ending, and I just love it so much, and it was the first book about lesbians that I read, and it just will always have a special place in my heart, but it's definitely my favorite book that I've read so far this year. The next question is, what is the best sequel that you've read this year so far? And for me, that would have to be Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. It's the second book in the Infertile Devices trilogy, which is kind of a prequel series to The Shadowhunters. Chronicles, the mortal instruments, I can speak. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I have absolutely been loving that series. I'm finally catching up. I'm trying to read the rest of them this summer so that I can read Lord of Shadows and not be um, spoiled by everyone else. So yeah, I absolutely loved Clockwork Prince. If you are looking for a book that is steampunk and that is set in London in the past, then you will definitely love it. It's just so great and uh, I just can't talk enough about the mortal instruments and all of those books that go with them. The next question is what is a book that you haven't read yet that you really want to that's a new release this year? And for this I've chosen The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli and I read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda which she also wrote in January, I think? Maybe later. No, it was definitely later. Anyway, I read that book in one sitting. It was so good, and I've heard such good things about this book, so I can't wait to get into it. It's about Molly, and she is terrified of unrequited love. She's terrified of falling in love with someone and not having it work out. So she's never really acted on any of her feelings towards people that she maybe likes and there are two guys in the story that she may fancy in some way and she's trying to overcome her fear of unrequited love and actually do something about her feelings. Next is the most anticipated release for the second half of 2017 and for this I've chosen Because You Love to Hate Me which is a compilation of short stories about villains. I think they're, I don't know if they're all in one universe of villains or just different stories, but it's a collaboration between authors and booktubers, and so many booktubers have worked with these authors to put these stories together, and I'm super excited about that new release. The next question is, what was your biggest disappointment of 2017 so far? And unfortunately, this has to be Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. I read First Life and quite enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the whole thing, but for the most part, especially in the second half of the book, I was really on the edge of my seat and really enjoying it, and it made me super hyped to read the next book. But then I started reading Lifeblood, and I really didn't like it. Tenley was being very dependent 
on these male characters and wasn't doing anything for herself and it was just driving me crazy so I ended up not even finishing the book because it just was not up my alley. Next is Biggest Surprise and for me that was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Everyone is talking about the movie and I knew there was so much hype around it so when I read the book I wasn't sure if I was actually going to enjoy it because I had heard so much hype about it, but I read it in a day and I absolutely loved it and it surprised me because it had a plot twist and I'm not going to say what that is, but it was so freaking good and everyone should read it. I love the movie! <laughs> Next is favorite debut author this year or new to you. So. I read Becky Albertalli's first book this year and I absolutely loved it and can't wait to read this one so I figured that she should be the answer to this question as I loved her debut novel and read it this year. Next is newest fictional crush and I have a few. <laughs> I constantly have fictional crushes, oh boy. But first I want to mention Isabel Lightwood from the Mortal Instruments series. She is just a badass, amazing uh, girl. I just love her. And I also just have to shout out Geekerella as a book anyway because it's amazing. But in Geekerella, Sage is an amazing character. I absolutely loved her kind of have a little bit of a crush on her as well. Next is newest favorite fictional character. And for me, this has to be Annie from Annie on My Mind. She is just so much like me and I identify with her more than I've ever identified with any other character, which just makes me so happy to find someone like that in literature. And of course, I had to mention this book twice just because it is my love. I love it so much. Next is a book that made you cry, and for this I've chosen Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen because at the end it was so happy that I ended up like with tears just kind of like leaking out of my eyes because I couldn't help myself because it was so beautiful and I just, I love Pride and Prejudice so much. Next is a book that made you happy, and for this I have chosen Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This is the third time I've mentioned her in this video, I realize, but I just really loved that book, and it's being made into a movie, and I'm so excited, and it follows Simon, who is a gay teen, and he is not out, he's closeted, and someone finds these emails between him and another guy that he's interested in. And so he has to um, end up, like, trading something, kind of. I don't want to give anything away to this guy who finds the emails so that he won't out him. And it's just such a good book. I love it. Next we have favorite book to film adaptation this year. And I actually don't think I've seen any this year because I haven't seen everything, everything yet. I am going to soon, I must, but um, yeah, so I haven't seen one, but I'm super, super hyped for Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Now, my favorite video that I've made this year is actually, I have two. I loved making my try on thrift haul that I made earlier this year. It was so fun. I actually made another try on haul and just uploaded that like last week and it's so fun. And Kaylee and I actually might do a try on haul soon and vlog our like shopping for it and then we'll show you in a video on this channel, not my vlog channel, what we got. And then I also really loved the video I made of five things I learned in high school because I came out in that video and it was dope and you guys were awesome and I got so much support and everything and that was just amazing. So thank you for that and I loved making that video. So my favorite beautiful books that I got this year as far as the covers are Fantastic Beasts by J.K. Rowling, which is just beautiful. Like, why would I not choose this one? And Naked, it is so cool. Like, look at this book cover. Ooh, the end pages too. But it's got a little niffler on it and it's so cute. I love it. And then it looks kind of like denim almost. 
on the cover, so I really love this one. And of course I chose it for this question. Also, Heartless by Marissa Meyer is just a beautiful book. I love this design on it, and then this, oh, the crown, and oh, it just goes perfectly with the book. And then to make it, oh, it's so pretty. And it's so cool because you've got like the queen on this side and then the joker on the back. It's just 100%. Last, what are the books that you need to finish by the end of the year? And I have so many books that I need to finish. Like seriously, so many. So I need to finish the Shadowhunter Chronicles, which I know everyone's like, seriously? I will catch up. I will. Then Always and Forever, Lara Jean. Oh my gosh, I love this series and I'm so happy that there's a third book. It's by Jenny Han and I just need to finish it as soon as I can. Beast by Bree Spangler is one that my best friend read and she loved it and so now I really need to read it because she recommended it to me. I need to read Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I obviously love Divergent and I will probably really enjoy Carve the Mark so I gotta read that. Lastly, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Everyone is yelling at me that I haven't read this yet, but I will. Okay, so that was the mid-year book freakout tag, and I really need to get on reading these books and just have a reading party. I need to get on reading. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, if, as if I don't sit by myself and read enough. I need to read more. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week with another one. Bye!